Wooden beam. Oh my god. Seriously, game? Ugh. Quite a load, but I suppose oh, I can carry no. it for a short distance. Yeah, just some green thing in the background. Seriously. You pick it up and place it in your purse. Ugh. I am an amused. Alright, so is this what I thought it was going to be? Where you can, like, do something with this? Yeah. Alright, so this was my whole idea to stop this with this post. I just couldn't get a way to get the door to stay open with the post not there. So that's annoying. Yeah, this game, are, there are too many, too many pixel hunts. That was in the background. The game's not awful, but that's definitely its biggest problem. It has really bad pixel hunts. Ah. Okay, uh, what are we doing now? Oh, I have to get this to Mei Fun. Ugh, or Mei Chen, whatever her name is. So, ugh, I have to redo this then, huh? Can I, can I just tell her to come back? <laughs> I don't know if she's going to come back on us now. Eh? Maybe the post weighs as much as we do. Well, the, the beam was definitely bigger than a pixel, but it was like way in the background. There's tons of shit and debris around. L little unfair. I'm open to suggestion. Don't give up now. And there were like also five five corridors like that. So she just comes across. Yeah. No even verbal communication, just <laughs> they must have read each other's mind through ESP. Okay, can you please do the thing? May, put the crank in the slot and turn it. When you tried to turn the crank, it sounded as if something bumped against your end of the bridge. Probably I need to remove the shovel. I can't take the shovel while the bridge is in that position. Yeah, okay. I'm glad I didn't try it because clearly that would not have... The shovel was preventing it from locking in place. Ah, uh, now we're going to have to go all the fucking over way because there's no way to tell them whether to push or pull. Oh, actually, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which side it's on. Never mind. Turn the crank again. There we go. Oh my god, thank god. Jeez. Alright. <laughs> Bridge has been crossed. Okay. So now that the bridge has been crossed, hopefully uh, we're almost. Uh, hopefully there won't be too much left. Let's take a look at this soldier. The terracotta soldier has stood watch for countless centuries. Countless centuries. Countless that terracotta. urn must be empty, or a pipe was blocked over the years. Maybe. Go east. <laughs> Burn the bridge. How will we get back? Soldiers. Who's coming down the corridor? Robert, it's magnificent. It's as if all of China were laid out before us. The old Baron was right. This tomb deserves to be the eighth wonder of the world. Yeah, buildings. What are these? Oh, these are all urns. Decorative urns line the walkway. 
Each building has been carefully built to scale. Ancient China lovingly recreated in miniature. The oil is burning furiously. I hope it lasts. Terracotta soldiers, but far more immense than any we've encountered so far. That gate dwarfs those in the Forbidden City itself. Okay. Yes. Majestic mountains rise above incredibly detailed cities and farms. Alrighty then. River. The river is Mercury. Right, right. Okay, anything else of note here? Dragon heads. A dragon's head carved from marble. I wonder what function it serves. Uh, probably fire is going to come out of its mouth. A small dam keeps the mercury from entering that channel. Cody, thank you very much for the host. Go on, Cody. Welcome, everybody. We're, uh, I think, nearing the end here. Ripley's, believe it or not, the riddle of Master Lou. That lake is mercury. Thousands upon thousands of gallons of pure mercury. Ah, oh, sweet mercury. Our dreams. Actually, is, merc is mercury like toxic to breathe? I'm wondering if you actually came across like a real mercury lake. That would be fair. All right, let's see if there could be a death here. Um, can we do something with the dragon head? That won't work. It will not. Okay, so we have to find some way to cross the lake. Yes. Okay. Mausoleum. Qinxia Huangdi's mausoleum. Even in death, he was an emperor of all he surveyed. Can we just use these uh, shields as, like, boats? Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> Maybe? Yeah? Oh, he's gonna use it like a toboggan? Not a toboggan, like it's snowshoes? Oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> what about Mei Chen? Qinxia Huangdi's mausoleum. Yeah, yeah. Qinxia Huangdi's mausoleum. It, Even in death, he was an emperor of all he survived. Yeah, that's great, but why don't you get over here to these? What on earth are you doing? <laughs> I'm not completely sure, but whatever it is, it appears to be working. Indeed so. Easy peasy. Sorry, Mei Chen. We're gonna have to leave you behind. <laughs> Master Lu, you served the first emperor well. You may not have found the secret to eternal life, but you created an incredible monument befitting a man who wanted all history to begin with him. I salute you, Master Lu. I salute you, Master Lu. What, a, what an incredible job you did here with the, your imp oh, the imperial seal and the sarcophagus. Inside that magnificent sarcophagus rests the man who declared history would begin with him. The man who sent Master Lu on an incredible journey, combing the globe for the elusive elixir of life. Right, what did we need? Oh, we just need to obtain that seal, I think. I think that's all we have to do. Anyway, let's say just in case there's a death here. Lurking in this sarcophagus. Chi Chi Huangdi. Great ass! And you got your head! All the way up it! The first Emperor's seal of office. At last. Is there a trap here? How much blood has been spilled by those who would use this? How much more will be spilled if it falls into the wrong hands? Master Lu, I understand you wanted the world to be united in peace and harmony before the first Emperor's seal was found. I'm sorry that hasn't happened. Our world is just as troubled as it was in your day. But if I leave the seal here, it will be used in the name of power and conquest and destruction. And I know that you didn't want that. On the other hand, I could leave it here. <laughs> Run! I have a bad feeling about this. Uh... You're standing on something. Oh, it's Mercury. The Mercular Mercury Lake is flooding. Run away! Run away! Uh, it's more like skate away. <laughs> Slip and slide your way across the Mercury Lake. Pretty soon this is going to be overflowing. 
he just leisurely walking. Actually, he's getting, walking with a little bit more purpose. What's happening? One last secret of old Master Luz. One we didn't uncover. Probably a last line of defense in case the world wasn't the serene place he envisioned when someone came for the seal. But how... May, talk later. Run now. Game, set, and match, I believe. Keep perfectly still, Mr. Ripley. Tim that Curry? for your charming companion as well. Who is he, Robert? Baron von Seltzer. Yes, believe it or not. No wonder you let me search your house with a key. I played right into your hands, didn't I? You did my work for me. I am in your debt. Why did your father hide the key from me? We had a difference of opinion about the Emerald Seal. He was unwilling to put it into its proper use. What good is the seal to you? You're not one of those fascist fellows after all, are you? Hardly. I'm very sincere in my desire to rid the world of Der Führer. He doesn't have the competitive spirit necessary to win. Think about it, Mr. Ripley. That seal belonged to a man born into a time not unlike ours. A time of turmoil and division. So, if another man possessed it, an opportunist... A visionary. The old China is dead. The time is ripe for a new dawn in the East. Not a Nazi dawn nor the rising sun of the Japanese. You'd rather it was the rising sun of the old Baron. <laughs> I'm going to miss you. I really will. It has been an interesting contest. It is unfortunate you won't be around to witness my triumph. Now, you can hand me the seal, one gentleman to another, or I can remove it from your lifeless fingers. Baron, you disappoint me. A sportsman like you, shooting an unarmed man and woman. I confess to you, I sometimes also cheat at tennis. My line calls, whatever it takes to win. We seem to be running out of time. I have no desire to be trapped inside a giant thermometer. The seal, Mr. Ripley, if you please. Whoops. You fool! You could have broken it! Oh. Gosh, I'm glad you're good at that. Golly, yes, sir. Q Mercury. <laughs> One man. Run. Oh, there's the flood control. <laughs> Look at his body, too. Lifeless body. Wow. Look at him. He's like heaving and hoeing. <laughs> All that running? A horrible way to go. Even for someone like him. And the Emerald Seal? The first emperor has reclaimed it. Thanks to Master Lu. <laughs> Look at him run. <laughs> the Emerald Seal will be safer right where it is. Whatever happens in the dark days to come, it can't be used to tip the balance of power. I'm very proud of you, Robert. I couldn't have done it without you, May. Or Dr. Twelve Trees. Thank you for helping my grandmother escape China. I don't know what you mean. Is she safe? Yes. With my aunt and uncle in London. And there's no use saying you had nothing to do with it. Yeah, what did well, we have to do with that? I didn't think it would hurt to make inquiries. You arranged it all. <laughs> Don't try to deny it. Apparently. I know everything. Ah, well, gosh. It sure will be nice to be back in New York, won't it? Yes, we can forget all about that troubled world down there. All the danger is behind us now. Was that ice? Did they crash into an iceberg? There's a sub down there. They're shooting at us. Oh. Oh, right, we're in a Zeppelin. I forgot. <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? I don't understand. Maybe I missed something. I don't understand what just happened there, but in any event, after 20 hours and 20 minutes, Yahoo! Ripley's Believe It or Not, the riddle of Master Lou has been solved. Believe it 
Or not. The seal has been put out of harm's way. The Baron von Seltzum has died. And we and our Zeppelin trip back to New York, I suppose. Yeah, because I want the question is, does the seal f float in mercury? If it does, then it's problematic. If it doesn't, then they're probably in good shape, I would guess. Wait, so what happened there at the end? I, I missed. I must have like misheard something. They thought they were being shot at, but it, was it just fireworks or what was what was going on? Because you kind of said like, oh. I, <laughs> so I sort of missed that at the end. But yeah, I mean, the game had a couple or two, two like annoying flaws with obviously the sort of the pixel hunting stuff and some of the, like there was that mechanic in the shack, which was only used at one time. Uh, but on the whole, I thought it was really well done. Obviously, some of the dialogue was cheesy and the acting, the voice acting, at least not great. But um, the puzzles were challenging for sure. Ruby Blue for you too, thank you for the follow. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we do have another 30 hours of gameplay <laughs> to do. And yeah, I liked uh, the different locations, and it was kind of cool, you know, being in 1936, and the puzzles were challenging. Um, the graphics were were very nice. Sort of the FMV over top of the pre-rendered scenes. Actually, I thought it worked pretty well. Uh, would have been nice if they had had subtitles. So wait, it was a cliffhanger? The worst is behind us. Oh, okay, so they were getting shot at. Got it. <laughs> they were planning on a sequel, which I guess never... Uh, I guess Sanctuary Woods went under before they could do the... Uh, do the sequel. Oh, Taranjeet was done by Taranjeet. That's nice. Maybe, we, well, if we hadn't done, done the eight hints, we probably would have been closer to 50 hours, to be fair. It's such a weird property. I was very surprised. I'm like, Ripley's, believe it or not, I didn't, like, aside from the uh, museums, I didn't, I've never seen, like, that IP anywhere else. It's kind of even interesting there was a game. Significant others and offspring who often may do without their loved ones that this product could be made. I don't believe it, Basil. I don't believe it. Alright, so let's give uh, 10 bonus Cedrics there at the end of the game. We'll head to our all of Adventure. We're at game number 152, Ripley's Believe It or Not, The Riddle of Master Lou, up on the shelf. <laughs> 